What are some skinny people problems? Putting extra holes into belts. Putting extra holes into belts. Having to invest in a leather hole punch, and all to get clean belt holes. We fit everywhere. As a construction worker it sucks. Laughing my butt off this. I'm always the guy to crawl into. Under. Over. Oh just stick your entire arm in this confined space, and get your skinny wrists through this hole, and then grab the thing the ducking thing. I like being helpful, but goddamn you get into some nasty spaces. Speaking of. It sounds like you're perfectly qualified to unclog my toilet barehanded. How much do you charge? Leaning your head on my shoulder probably feels like leaning on a jagged rock. Reminder for you all to consume more calcium, so your skeleton doesn't try to escape. WTF you're so skinny I, I yes. Yes I am. How observant. I usually just respond something like, yep, and let the awkward silence consume them. Once in HS my friends decided to nickname me Anna, as in anorexic. I didn't have anorexia, so they seemed to think it was funny and okay. After a few days I made up some bullshit about knowing a girl who died from it, and said they were being disrespectful. They saw through my lie immediately. So I said, if I made that up, it should tell you how much I hate the nickname. They told me to get over it. So I said okay fine. Call me Anna. But I'm calling you fat ass, and you chunky thighs is that. Okay. They got the message then. Bumping into anything hurts 10 time worse. Bone doesn't cushion at all. I had a really skinny co-worker once he slipped, and fell at work and people laughed, until he didn't get up. Turns out this 22 year old guy straight up broke his hip on the floor. Sometimes in roller coasters you don't feel super secure in the harness or seat belt. Hard to keep my pants up. I have no butt. People commenting on your body all the time, because since you are skinny you can't be offended. Hard to float when I swim. Sinking in water. Fat is less dense than water. So not having any means you'll have a harder time keeping your head above the water when swimming. The one problem that drives me nuts is that people assume skinny fit. I work out and exercise play sports a lot, but when I tell people that they think I'm weird for working out when I'm already skinny. Sit ups. The way my spine rolls against a hard surface. I just can't. I need to be on a carpet to do sit ups. Boxers always ride up. Cause my hips are bigger than my waist. I never sit in a chair like a normal person. Always shifting from side to side, because just planted there hurts. Now if you run a long flight wo mama my lack of buns are hollerin. Not being able to sit on hard surfaces. I lost the padding on my butt and now a bike seat is heck. You'll be fat when you hit 20. You'll be fat when you hit 23. You'll be fat when you hit 30. You'll be fat when you hit 35. You'll be fat when you hit 40. You'll be fat when you hit 45. Still waiting. When there's high winds and walking becomes hardcore resistance training. When a large man sneezes near my umbrella I turn into Mary Poppins. Wrist watches can be a pain I have very skinny wrists. So it was a bit of a search to find one where the watch face wasn't too big and overwhelming and the band was small enough. Similarly jewelry bracelets tend to be too big fairly soon. And I usually only wear rings on my index finger, because those that fit my ring fingers fairly quickly end up being in the children's section. No boobs to speak of, so no cleavage. Meaning shirts always fit weird. I can't really wear dresses, because there's about two sizes difference between my top and my bottom. So either it fits my top, but my hips won't fit, unless it's a super flared dress, or it fits my bottom but there's a ton of room around my boobs. I basically have to wear padded push-up brash, just to make my clothes look halfway decent and my body sort of in proportions. Buying bras is another mixed bag small sizes often have small prices, but 9 times out of 10 I have to buy them online, because my band size is so small. 
when I find a bra that fits well. I tend to buy it in several colors, so I have a stash. And oh 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 all the men like women with some meat on their bones. Not stick figures. Well, gee. Thanks. People commenting on your weight all of the time. Easily cold. Painful to lie in the bath. High risk of pressure sores. Sitting on a harder surface wooden chair or something. Becomes uncomfortable much faster than people realize. Because there's less padding down there. Cold all the time. Give me a blanket PLS. My weak nerd arms. Wow I can make a circle around your arm. Nothing drives me crazier than someone grabbing my wrist. Why do people love to grab skinny wrists? People eyeballing you while you eat, or keeping mental tabs on your food intake. It's unsettling. Nearly everyone can beat you in a fight, because 9 times out of 10 they will just pick you up and body slam you. Ian when you duck another a skinny person it sounds like you're damaging a pair of skeletons in Minecraft. Friend of mine is very skinny and small. She basically can't find any clothes she likes, because apparently women are not supposed to be that skinny and small, and if so are bound to dress like preteens forever. When a cat sits on your lap their feet slip through the gap between your thighs. This often makes them sink their claws in to steady themselves. When you mention how you are out of shape and need to start getting back into regular exercise running, and they just say, but you're thin and in shape already. Your body size is not indicative of how in shape you are, and it goes the other way too if you are above average in weight. Just because you weigh more than the average person also doesn't mean you are out of shape. People constantly telling me that I should eat more. If you're not going to tell a fat person to eat less, don't tell skinny people to eat more. Chill to the bone is not a metaphor for skinny people. I get cold so much faster because I have less body fat. Some women are openly hostile towards me. Skinny bitch is an extremely popular name that I get called from a whole host of women friends and strangers alike. I can't talk about my insecurities about my body because I get openly mocked or outright dismissed. And I can never, ever discuss food with women who are insecure about their weight and I generally just try to avoid eating around women altogether. I do understand that there are advantages to being my size. I don't take that for granted. But my body shape shouldn't bring nasty comments just like a larger person's body shouldn't. Easier to kidnap. Nobody wants me to sit on their lap. Sitting on hard surfaces can be pretty painful. But on the upside all my cowalkers give me their snacks when they go on a diet. I haven't had to buy work snacks in over a year now. I'm a guy who was skinny. Some women weren't into skinny guys. I met my wife when I was really thin. And later she let me know she was a little on the fence about it. I'm 5 feet 10 and weighed 140 pounds when we met. I was biking everywhere and living off of rice and beans. After 14 years of better food and 10 years of weightlifting I'm 190. But I'm old and married and have no idea if women care. I still look skinny, but I'm just dense I guess. I don't look like a skeleton anymore though. One thing I miss, when you're really skinny, your dung looks huge. You can see my heartbeat through my skin and it creeps people out. People hounding you for your secret and then going on and on about how they wish they could lose weight. My secret is that I have no appetite and I really don't get why I need to listen to you body shame yourself for 20 minutes straight. I promise you it doesn't make me feel good about myself. This probably seems obvious, but all the negative stigma that comes with being skinny. People automatically assuming you're prissy or a bitch or care too much about your looks. People disregarding your mental health. Especially when it's body oriented. What do you have to be upset about? Or you're not allowed to hate yourself because you're skinny. Having little to no support when it comes to taking care of your own health. You don't need to eat healthy all the time you're already skinny. Saying things like I really need to work out more is always met with responses similar to no you don't you're the skinniest one here. 
you're not allowed to be upset about your weight or your health if you're hanging out with people who are chunkier than you. I get cold at like 75f if I'm doing nothing. People think it's okay to poke fun at being thin. But if I poke fun of someone who is fat I'm an asshole. I'm skinny, but cycle a lot, so pants and shorts never fit right. I'm thin, but tall, and small shirts are often wide and short. My stronger friends can pick me up like a child. If I get sick, the weight loss can easily put me into underweight territory. Oh man. Finally my moment to shine. I'm not sure if this is cultural in Enzico, but many people think skinny your family doesn't feed you. You think you're better than anyone else you are in a hole you don't want to eat. There's so much hate. Everyone just has to comment on your appearance. Even with good comments some people are. Like you're so cute you are so small I wish I was like you how do you do it. I know it's not with bad intention. But I do not want to start every conversation with why I'm skinny. Or they just make it my whole personality. It's never oh she's the girl that does x it's just that super skinny girl clothes I like never get to my size. It's always bigger or kids. And I'm a size 2 mx my foot is 18 centimeters long. I cannot find heels. And when I do they are too wide. Shoes normally start at 3. 3.5 mx here. Cold oh so cold. Stop picking me up. Me being small and skinny and easy to get picked up doesn't mean it's okay to do it. It's creepy and everyone deserves boundaries over who touches them or how. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 